Becky. Welcome to our cooking show. Becky, I'm excited because I'm hungry to be here. I mean, I'm excited and hungry <laughs> to be here. <laughs> to be here. Well, that's good because we are going to make one of the famous dishes from the Ilocos region, vegan longanisa. Breakfast sausage. Wow. We're going to hand roll it today. Okay. Okay, so that our viewers, yeah, roll. our viewers can learn how to make it at home. What do we have here? We have here a kilo of minced pork. Our flavorings, minced garlic wow. over here, or bawang, garlic. sugar, sugar, okay, salt, asin, asin, and then coriander. We call it kinchai. Okay. Anato powder. Okay. We call it achuete. We have here paprika. Oh wow. We call it paprika. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then vinegar. This is apple cider vinegar actually. Okay. And then we have corn. What do we do? We just put everything together. Garlic here. How much garlic is in there? As much as we like because the characteristic of vegan longanese is actually garlicky and vinegary. Just mixing it all, all in. Together. Yep. That's a bit of color, doesn't it? Mm. Now the salt. You can be liberal with this. Two tablespoons. Okay. Use hand power. Hand power? Hand power. Wow. That looks very nice. So why is it better to use your hands? Because you can uh, actually squeeze in all the ingredients together, flavoring it better. And besides, good exercise. Okay, yes. We are going to put a cornstarch, three okay. tablespoons. This will help bind the meat. Normally, you can use this in an hour or two, but sometimes it helps to marinate all the meats for three days in the fridge. Okay. Then we're ready to make it into longanisa balls. What is That's this? That's a sandwich bag. That so one. you got a sandwich bag? Yes. Yeah, cut it in half. This is about 60 to 70 grams. This is where the magic happens. We put the ball in between this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you make this all the time? For my, yes, for my family. My mm. nephews love the sausages. Mm. See this? It's firm and it's packed and it's nicely shaped. Would you like to try? Try one, okay. So yep. put the ball in there. Yep. Put it together. Yep. And then... Just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Wow! I made my own sausage. Doesn't look as good as yours. <laughs> that is a start. What you do is you put it in a container. Okay. And you can put it in the fridge for three days. But you yes. can put it in the freezer and it can last for a long time as well. Yes, maybe? for six months actually. Wow! Yes, we heated up the, the pan, the frying yep. pan. We just have to cook it with a bit of water actually. Wow, it's hot. So it's bubbling here. Mm. How many do you want? Uh, I have all of them. No, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> and then we try to jiggle them up so that they will cook even. So The water is almost done now. Yes. We put in a bit of oil, bit just uh, on top. top. Yep. Okay. I prefer using that canola or olive oil. Okay. Yeah, uh, just turn it over turn there. Over. Wow. Getting, wow. Getting brown there. Yep. This is one of my favorite sounds, Becky. The sound of the, the sizzling in the oil. It's getting brown because why? The oil is frying. The oil and the sugar. Sugar. Yeah. Just, just, just a bit of sugar. A bit of sugar helps. Wow. It looks fantastic, Becky. Thank you. So, uh, what do we have here? A bit of rice? Yes, a bit of rice, tomato and cucumber, uh, the vegan longanisa, of course, plus our traditional condiment to okay. accompany the main dish. And what's in this one? Vinegar, a bit of salt and pepper and sugar, mm. slices of garlic, and chili. Mm. I know you like chili. I like it hot, baby. Okay, now, uh, that's all. Yes, we're ready to dig in. That's the Filipino breakfast, vegan longanisa.